This week it's our six against a strong five. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, we got Donnie and Vester. Donnie's a six. Vester is a five. Donnie likes to hit the ball pretty hard. This is the recovered tables. Very, very quick. So we'll see how he adjusts to it. So far, so good. Vester's a strong five. A lot of shot knowledge, plays really well. Like any five, he's got his ups and downs, so we'll see how it goes. All right, Donnie's breaking rack one. Nice break is, in, oh, three almost goes in. Dry. Investor's going to go for the stripes here. Lands a little straight on this one, but should be okay. Thirteen up the rail. Just misses it. Donnie's got a little bit of work over here. Jumps up a little bit in the shot. This is his one ball. Nice shot on that nine ball. Rolls out a bit much. Don't know if he can make that 13 from there. So he's going to cut this 12 ball. Oh, he banks it. Well, Donnie's got a three, and I'm not sure if the three's too far out for him to actually run into the six here. He does hit the edge of the six, but doesn't get much from it. It's a nice try. Jumps up again. I left this one at a slightly wider angle than the other one that I just recorded because I want to actually be able to see Donnie's movement. See if we can't help him with this. Nice shot. Lane's perfect for that ball. Wow. Still got a 14 he's not going to be able to get to anytime soon, but... It's a little bit of separation. I think he freed up Donnie's five ball. So Donnie can shoot. If the five ball goes this way, he can stop shot, hold the cue ball here and have the six. He's just got to figure out a way to get that cue ball back over here. He's got enough balls on the table to make it happen. He could do it right here with the two if he wanted. Well, I was going to say he could shoot the two and bring the cue ball back this way. He puts the chalk down, chalk side up. Improvement, improvement. Dabs at the seven ball. Just misses it. I'm gonna kick at this 11. Makes contact with the 11. See where this cue ball finishes. Ooh, hits the 11 again, just for good measure. 
gets a really good roll and pretty much hooks Donnie with his own ball. That's a tough shot. Tony stands in the shot for a little while. I tell him to move. Oh, that cue ball's going down. Yeah. Six ball still goes by the seven, so now with ball in hand, this is the perfect time to shoot that five. Play that six in the corner. You can play it this way also, run run forward with that. You gotta run it up though. That's not running it up. Over hits this one a bit. I think he has enough room here to bank this 14 and draw back. He's going to have to hit it a little bit over here, which means if he hits it and draws it back, he's bringing the cue ball back here. So see how he handles it. Oh, bumps into the five on the way by. Donnie's got a safety here if he wants it. He can leave the cue ball over here. Definitely don't want to do that. Sets this one straight. Move the cue ball just a little bit over this way to play that one. That way you can get the cue ball up here. Have a little bit better angle. Be a little closer to your work, you know? You could even stun that ball and send the cue ball this direction. But he went with what he's comfortable with. Makes his eight ball. Vester's on the board. One nothing on to rack two. All right, rack two, Vester to break. Got a hold of that one. Doesn't look like anything went in though. And he's probably gonna go for solids here. Is that one well? Slow down. I think you can see the three from here. Possibly the seven. I don't know what's going to happen after he hits the seven. He might hit the two ball. Does hit the two ball. Moves the four ball into a bad spot. Got to be careful not to hit this three ball here. He does. And he is flying up the table. Let that one get away from him. Only about four feet too far. Goes for the combo. Leaves his three in the corner. 
It's good. Stands in the shot again. Hopefully you can still see that 14 ball. Makes a good shot on it. I think he's going to try to play this 10 all the way up the table. No help from the 15. Well, Tiny's four ball caroms into that corner. You just got to get to it. Oh, he tries to carry him off the five into the three. Catches the five a little fat. He spins that with a bunch of left, so... Went a lot closer to that nine ball than he wanted to. He's got this 13. Oh, he tries to play a 13 off the 10. Cute. And again, Donnie doesn't have a shot. And he tries moving Vester's balls out of the pocket. Actually ties them up pretty good. <laughs> So he's going for a safety here to tuck this behind the 10. I think Donnie's going to go for, well, I don't know if he can even see the edge of the four enough to get it towards the three. Yeah, didn't have enough of it to send it towards a three, but he does send the cue ball all the way up the table. Donnie's chalk is now chalk side down. It's a pet peeve of mine, sorry. Oh, wow, gets the three out of the pocket. Got a combo here if he wants it. He could also go rail first into the 10. Ooh, he hit the four ball. All right, Donnie's got an open table. Only four balls to make. Want to go stop shot on this three? Oh, he's going to roll it up instead. Yeah, he needed an angle on that ball. Well, he jumps up on that one a bit. Makes his 
13. Where's that cue ball going? Oh, wow. That was close. That was close. All right, he's gonna have to put some follow on this uh, cue ball here to keep the eight from scratching. Probably gonna hit up here somewhere. Fortunately, he's close enough to the rail where he has no choice but to put some follow on it. And he makes it. Oh, goodness. All right, Vester's up two nothing on to rack three. All right, here we go, rack three. Okay, um, it looks like two balls hit the rail, but he scratched, so that's going to be Donnie's break. According to APA rules, you can have as many bad breaks in a row as you want, unless you scratch. If you scratch, you have to give it over to your opponent. All right, don't need to break. Breaking from the dead center of the table. Doesn't look like he made anything. Obviously, Vester's going for the stripes here. The uh, solids are all bunched up. Every single stripe is over here. Nice spread on this, or everything single solid is over here, sorry. Hit that one a little bit. Looks like he was trying to get shape on his nine ball. You can see if you can see the eleven, he's still in good shape. Go short on the fifteen. Doesn't leave Donnie much of anything though. I think Donnie's checking to see if the two ball goes all the way up to the table. Ooh, just short on his 11 ball on the side. Definitely want to aim for that second half of the uh, side pockets when you shoot at them. We talked a lot about that in a previous video and in the comments of that video. And he comes out of his shoes again, misses his six ball. He's hitting his thin cuts pretty fat, so gonna make an adjustment there. Me and the baby. Mom's playing on the table up top. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. Clean. And then... <laughs> no good shot goes unpunished.
Makes good contact on his kick. Opens everything up. Three ball down, stays down on a shot. up on a shot scratches I, think I might go for the 11 first here and play the cue ball this way just because it's hard to get on the eight ball from the 11 and he's got really really good shape on the eight ball right now from that nine so that was his key ball Donnie, let's do this. I know I sound like a broken record here and it's really hard not to, but when you come up in your shot, that tip is in motion. There's nothing you can do about it. It's really, really hard to hold a cue still when your body's coming up mid stroke. He drills his 11 ball. Oh, rolls up into a really tough spot. Eight ball doesn't pass the seven. He has been uh, banking the ball really well, so he might want to bank it down here. I don't know. Looks like he's just going to go for a safety. Oh, I mean, he's marked this pocket. He might get there. Wow. I didn't think he had that much room to go through that traffic. That was a really nice shot. All right. Vester's on the hill. 3-0. I didn't think that A-ball would go through that 6-7 cluster. Oh, well. All right. Here we go. Rack 4. All right, Vester breaking rack four. One ball gonna go? No. Okay, stripes are all clustered. Solid's pretty open. Normally I'd be against a combo here, but if he hits this one light, he can hold the five ball there. Don't want to make the five ball. The seven in. Rubs the three. Would have gone in anyway, though. You can put a little bit of uh, left spin on this. A little bit of draw. Move his six ball out of there. Don't scratch. Oh, he gets the movement, clears the six out, gets punished right away. He had the right idea. Bumps his nine ball out of the cluster, opens him up for himself. Got this nine ball, he can put a little bit of draw on this to hold the cue ball in the middle of the table, misses the nine, gets the hold on the cue ball though, played it well, just missed the shot. Oh wow, rattles his two ball. I wonder how.
Nine ball down. He's got the 10 or the 12. Looks like he's going for the 10 ball. It's a very unfavorable bounce on the 11. Looks like it still might go though. He could take it now. Goes this way. Really bad lines. Need to get a pen or something. Oof, just misses and pushes the eight ball in front of the side pocket. Oh, he's got a tough shot on this four ball. Hasn't been hitting these cuts too well today. Oh, he shoots the two ball instead. Rattles it in. Four ball goes. Got to be careful not to mess up that eight ball, though. You can just light roll this one. He does. Hopefully he didn't overhit it. Looks like he can still see part of this six. The important part anyway. Oh, wow. Doesn't get blocked by the 13. That's good. Oh, I called a timeout and told him not to hit the ball hard. All right, Donnie's on the board, 3-1. They will not be getting three points from Donnie. On to rack five. All right, Donnie to break, rack five. Well, ball drops. 11 balls hung up. I think he can see the 13. Cue ball goes into the cluster if he makes the 13. Only move solids. They can shoot the 10, move the nine and the 15. He might even get lucky and make the three ball with the 15. He does, but gets unlucky. Eight ball rolls in the way. Now he's going to have to shoot this 11 ball. You don't want to hit this one hard. You just want to go slightly rail first, catch this little bit, and bring your cue ball back out here. He hits it hard and brings the cue ball up here instead. Watch the one ball. Oh, be my daughter. Right, shoots his two ball, that might not stop. Hey, uh, I don't know if I like the shot. Actually, I was just looking at this. If the nine ball passes here, I like hitting it with a, lo a little off center, a little follow, and sending the cue ball this way towards the 15. It's the only chance you have to get that 15 out of there. Now he's just gonna have to play this perfectly, which he hasn't. does get the 15 to move. Fortunately, the one ball gets out of the way too. Well, 
it with a little bit of draw. Got a makeable angle though. All right, eight ball down, Donnie, three to two. Got a little ways to go. Hey, Donnie breaking rack six. He's gonna break from the side this time a little bit. And ball's gonna go. He's fortunate to put some Follow on that cue ball on that break because it didn't get very much spread, but then the cue ball went back into it and made a ball for him. Looks like he's stuck having to shoot at this 15 ball. Nice and easy. Well, that worked out well. You can see the nine ball now. I guess the two balls in the way. Goes for the 11. Plays really, really good shape on this five ball. Second guessing. One ball finds the pocket. See if he gets his three. He's been playing these short, so manages to get that one in. Gets on the good side of the six if he's trying to come back up here. Catches the 12 ball on the way by. Don't know where that two ball goes. I think he's going to kick it. Makes good contact, breaks him up. Donnie's got a pretty open table here. You can get rid of this 14 ball. Looks like he could even shoot the 12 ball. He's going to go for the 9 ball. get really good shape on that nine ball from the 11 and then you can roll up here for shape on the eight i like the uh 11 9 is my key for the eight ball on this rack look at that shape runs it right into the 12 breaks everything out that was a nice shot man All right, eight balls down. Vester gets the win. Four to two over Donnie. Donnie's going to work out that shot he just missed, I think. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, definitely a display of some things you should be working on. Everybody, stay put. But yeah, uh, I just recorded two of these, so I'm done for the day. I'm going to go edit these down and get them posted. This, is, this video here will probably be Friday, at which point... I don't know how much, I think I'm going to have some nine ball action for you guys by then. So we'll see what's up. I'm hoping for it. I haven't played any of the nine ball matches just because we've been playing at our home location and they still haven't put lights up over the tables. So if I can't get it, I'm not going to show it to you. Um, like this one if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment if you can. Let me know 
if I'm being unreasonable about leaving the chalk face down on the table and how much it bothers me. I know it's kind of a weird pet peeve, but I don't like getting chalk all over my clothes, man. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.